Hello, welcome to Crafting Kitty. My name is Erin. Yes, I'm still wearing my May the 4th shirt. It is still May the 4th. I was doing some cleaning around the house, checked my upload on my phone. My weekly roundup seemed stalled, so I came upstairs to check ye old pewter. It had decided to shut down and restart itself. So, thank you, Microsoft. Um, <laughs> So I got it all back up. It looked like it was going to continue uploading my video. It decided not to, so I just had to trash the whole upload and start re-uploading. So hopefully in about two and a half hours, you will have the weekly roundup for Saturday. I'm sorry. I, I was late starting. I didn't start filming until after 12.15. And then this! Ah! Doesn't it know I want it to be doing things? Silly computer. Okay, we're not here to complain about computers. We are here for an unboxing. What is this? An unbagging. We'll say it's an unbagging. This is my Thriss and Stitches yarn for April. Yay! I did get it in April. Um, I just had other videos queued up and was not able to open it in April. So we will open it now. Now, normally I do not I try to not be spoiled and I look away when Thrus is showing the yarn so it can be a surprise. I understand Bod was super excited and shared it out on her community tab. So I have seen the yarn, the um full spectrum yarn for this month. I did not I don't know what the April birthstone yarn looks like, so I'm excited to see that. Um and it's just yarn. So I'm not like I she was excited because of her daughter's involvement, and it's totally understandable. I'm, it's just yarn. <laughs> so, let's see this just yarn, because you know it's not just yarn if it comes from Thrus. It is very special. It's always beautiful. And let's talk about it. So, we will clip it open, try to make sure we don't accidentally get anything inside the bag. Okay, so the, the um, full spectrum yarn is right... Oh, no! sandwiched. <laughs> that is pretty. Okay, we'll do the full spectrum yarn first. Um, let's make sure. We have, to hide these nice, or hide them, not hide them. I want them to show very nicely. She's got such beautiful tags too. So there's her full spectrum logo. And this is Neon Sunset, 100% Superwash Merino. I got fingering weight. There's all the info. Um, so there's 437 yards per hank. It comes with a stitch marker from D Dee at Dee's Creative Hands. It's a very spooky, like, skull with a tassel. What? It's very pretty. It's um got all sorts of green-colored beads down the... Um, what is that? That's an eye. Um, and then the... <clears throat> my voice has been playing tricks on me all day. Um, so yay! Uh, an eye hook is what she used there. This is the yarn. Let's see. Should we turn them so they're both kind of the same? I mean, they're hand-dyed, so they're, they look different. They look different. Whoa! Look at that neon! That is some bright stuff beautiful orange vibrant pink um i was gonna say the camera's blowing it out but it sunglasses are required this is some bright stuff it's beautiful i know a little lady who's gonna love this and this is gonna be perfect for some sort of color work for her because i'll want to do a different color with it what do you think would you do gray Black will really make it pop. White would be super pretty and unique with it. Um, or gray. That's kind of the three I'm leaning towards for some color work options with this. This is so soft. It is soft. It is beautiful. It is bright. And I hope it's everything that Bod's daughter... I know they use her name on her channel. I just don't want to. Um hopes it was. I hope it, her dreams came true. It's beautiful. It's soft. It's, it's gorgeous. So this is, I also get her, 
full spectrum birthstone collection. I just get one in the DK weight. And this month it was April, so it was Diamond. And she was having some difficulty with Diamond. And I understand, and I kind of had to snicker because I am one of the other problem months for her, which is Opal for um, October. And I'm so happy. This is totally off topic. But so often, <laughs> I love the Opal birthstone. I'm so excited. But um, so often when I go to like see what they have in the birthstone collection of jewelry or something, they've gone with the pink tourmaline instead of the opal. And I just, I'm not as excited by the pink tour tourmaline. And now recently I'm seeing people saying rose quartz. So has, has October picked up a third <laughs> birthstone? Are we that problematic? But, um, for, she chose kind of a tonal gray, which is, it's beautiful. And I can see how this is going to fit with the other months so well. I still don't know what I'm going to make with it, but I have time. I have lots of time. It's 100% superwash merino. It's 219 yards, like I said, DK. This was April Diamond. Um, so I was talking about how decadent it would be to make a blanket, and a washing would be more difficult. Now, this is superwash. So you could technically use the washing machine if you wanted to. I don't think I would want to. Like, to me, it would be far too special. I'd hate to risk it. And I hate hand washing blankets. So I think it's going to be some non-blanket. I don't know. And it, I mean, nothing says I have to put it all in one project. But she is trying her best to make it a cohesive collection so people can put it in one project. And I kind of want to respect that and put it all in one project. And also, nothing says the one project has to contain all of the yarn, right? So I was kind of thinking, do I do some sort of like cardigan where you just go in order maybe with the colors and it's some sort of like a cardigan of many colors that could be fun i might do that um or i could go ahead and just try to use it all and go like a duster route that would be cool i mean the sky's the limit i'm gonna have 12 of these come the end of the year 12 times 220 is a whole lot. <laughs> Who does math? No, 12 times 200, 2400 plus the extra 20s. We're going to have 25, 26, probably around 2650 to round up a little bit. So that's a lot of yardage to do some awesome projects. Okay, so let's talk. The first stone. Her prices are the same for each. Um, for a single hank, including shipping within the United States, is $25. For each additional hank is $20. So for the birthstone collection, I pay $25, and this is shipped to me. It does not come with a stitch marker from D. For the full spectrum mystery box, I do always get the two hanks. So it's $45 for these two shipped to me within the United States. She does ship international, but you're going to have to talk to her about shipping because that's going to be more expensive and I can guarantee it's not included. Um, but it does come with the stitch marker. Um, one or two, depending on the month, from D at D's Creative Hands. And it's beautiful. It's such a bargain. Um, so they're beautiful, great great yarns um so this whole package seventy dollars well well spent perfectly well spent i i couldn't ask for more oh it's beautiful um my eyes are kind of hurting from looking at this i had to put it to the side um it's a gloomy day again it was raining this morning it's so cloudy so having something being confronted by something so bright is shocking my system but this is so soft too. Like they're, it's all so soft. Her bases are phenomenal. She, 
I cannot gush enough about you, Thris. You know this. I love you to bits and pieces, lady. Um, thank you for sharing your talents with us once again. I am so proud of you. I, yes. Okay, I'm going to go. Let me know if you have ideas for this. And if you could give me your opinion on the coordinating yarn for the neon sunset. I'd love to know. Um, I'm not going to start working on it anytime soon. <laughs> But it's it's good to have the ideas percolating in my mind. And then as I'm like looking at things, maybe I'll get something into my collection and be like, yes, that's what I needed to go with that yarn. And then I'm good to go. Or when it comes up, I'm prepared to be like, okay, it's your turn. I know what I need to do to make a project with this come to fruition. And that's that's always so fun and amazing. Okay, I will talk to you guys all later and thank you oh um thris's boxes for may are up and available so if you are interested go head over there her ordering window closes may 8th so you have a few more days to get them in if you are interested in the may boxes they ship between the 15th and 20th and of course Thris has no control over the USPS. No one does. I don't even think the USPS has any control sometimes. I'm naughty. I'm naughty naughty. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Bye!